Hello guys, I am Gabble Gaming, and today we're doing a tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to make a color combination lock. I don't have my face cam on, because I didn't want to put it on. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you're going to need uh, a block of choice, or just like a old, not old, what? <laughs> a block that is like hard and redstone uh, repeater redstone can pass through it so like a block of iron or something like that a block of choice redstone torch button piston sticky piston redstone dust and redstone repeater so what you're gonna want to start off doing is just kind of building a little wall leave one space out About like this. Put your button right there. Now take your block of choice and just follow me. You may pause whenever you want. This is going to start getting really boring. Just going to say that. Then you're going to want to dig in under there, place a piston. Dig out one, two, three, four, five. Dig one under and put a piston. Then you're going to want to go three blocks up. One, two, three. And put a piston facing downwards. Then you want to go right here. And go up to one to where you have a one piston like right under that like this like that now put one more on each of those on the uh, right side well facing this way on the right side Now what you're going to want to do, from what we have right here, you're going to take your block of choice, you're going to put one right there, and dig out here, put one right there, place a piece of redstone dust, and then go down, like that. Now what you're going to want to do is dig out this area. Plus a redstone there, and two redstone repeaters. Place these blocks with your block of choice, or if you want to. And then put a repeater right there. And now those pistons should be working. So now what you're going to want to do from there, take your block of choice, put above the repeater. Also, these all have to be on one tick, meaning you don't hit them, like you don't uh, right click them at all. Then you're going to want to go put a piece of redstone dust there. Oh yeah, I forgot we need slabs. I'm getting a smooth stone slab, it doesn't matter whichever one you get. You're going to want to go create a zigzag. About like that. Now what you're going to want to do is put in your redstone right there. Put your block of choice right there, right there. And then one more block right there. Place a repeater on two ticks on it, so like this. And then place redstone on these blocks. Now, take your block of choice make a little staircase and then go oh didn't mean to do that <laughs> all right <Ooh. laughs> then place that I'll take your redstone dust and go up with it like that 
Now all the pistons should be working. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to clear out your inventory. Oops, I spelled that wrong. And you're just going to want to go down to the concrete. And just get a bunch of concrete. Like, fill up your hot bar with these concrete. Try to make it colorful, though. Now, you're going to want to place one on... Alright, so you're going to want to do them on these pistons. The one right under this, like right there. So you're going to want to place one like that on top of it. And then just kind of go over. And don't place it on top of that one. Ah, crap. <laughs> and then... I keep trying to not get the one that I keep getting. And then... Once you get right here, place one on top of that one. And then... Just kind of go along. Don't place one on that. Oops. <laughs> Alright, let me set the time today. Oh. I set it wrong. Time set today. this with that all right now we're gonna want glass and a hard block and what you're gonna want to do is put glass on all of these blocks And then, oh yeah, and in between here, also put glass. Let's test this and make sure it works. It may take a couple times. Yep, it's working. All right, now, put, now take out a lever, a repeater, redstone dust, and a redstone torch. Just do this. So you're going to want to put your lever on this block, put a repeater going into this block, and a repeater coming out of that block. Turn on the lever. This means that your code is right. If this torch is off, your code is on the right one. Because this block, uh, the repeater going into it, it takes that signal, puts it into this red tone torch, turning it off. Now take your block of choice, or just a hard block, and put some redstone on it. You have made your lock. Now you can just hook it up to any door that you want. So I'm going to finish making it. I'm going to hook up an iron door. So let's just do that now. And what you're going to want to do is this. Just make it like a little too wide space with your door under it. All right. Then you're going to want to place a block right here where you may have just dug out and put a redstone torch under it. Make sure that it's make sure that you make like this is closed whenever you do that. So you're going to have to like, so without the redstone torch, here, one sec. so without the redstone torch, it's going to look like this. It's going to have to look like that. Then you're going to want to place in your redstone torch. Remember, place it not under this block, but on that block over there, as you can see right there. And then just kind of dig out. And place a redstone torch right there. And then just put 
uh, here, let me fix this. Just put redstone dust going in. And if your signal gets like, all right, now we have the right combination, which means it's open. So now just cover up whatever you want, except don't make sure not to block off the redstone's path. So like, don't do anything to this, except you can place one right there, but don't do anything to those two, unless you want to place a slab like this, an upside down slab. Now you have the right combination, which uh, my combination is red, blue, pink. Now if we change that, the door will close. So let's get it back to red, blue, pink. It may take a minute. <laughs> so this is gonna take pretty long. Well, it takes a bit of time to get it back over to your combination, but it's still pretty simple, I think. And then your door opens. There you go. Now you have a working color combination lock. You can hook up like multiple together like you skip these and then make another one over here and then do this exact same thing but hook up that redstone which I'm not gonna do in this video <laughs> but yeah this has been fun I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye